In this video, we are going to look at setting up a flow that will utilize the Power Automate ability to extract text values from email. And as you know, I have a video on my channel that explains how to do that. And so what you're seeing here is Power Automate and elements of that flow. So we've already started the flow. We've already set up the actions that will extract the text values from an email when a new email arrives with certain parameters set up in this trigger. So follow the steps in that video, which I will link below, and then you can finish setting up this flow, which is going to be a certificate issuer. So our flow is going to extract the name and the email of a learner who has earned a certificate, and then it's going to populate the certificate with that learner's full name. And then it's also going to email the certificate to that person. Before we can go any further by adding more actions, we need to actually create our certificate. So let's do that right now. And we're going to use Microsoft Word to do that. So when you open Word, you have the option for more templates. And if we click there, you can go over here and you can search certificates and you can see a bunch of different options for certificates. And for this example, I'm just gonna choose this first certificate template here, which is for a cat sitter. And I'm gonna click create. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut this name out of here. And I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to insert a text box and I'll just grab the simple text box. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put text in here, simply name. And of course you can alter this. You can uh, make different colors. You can change the font size so we can make the font a little bit bigger. For example, um, you can play around with that as much as you want. And just so you know, if you wanted to also, extract a date from your email, you can set up that compose action and populate the date here as well. But for this, just for this example, just for keeping things simple, we're only going to populate the name. So now that we have the name in there, what we need to do is go to our developer tab. And if you don't have the developer tab, you can go to file options and then customize ribbon. And on the right hand side menu, you see developer, you just check the box and you click OK. And now you'll have the developer tab. So I've selected this text box and I'm going to go to the de developer tab and I'm going to go to plain text content control. And once I've done that, you can see it's selected the text there with a little box around it. And now I'm going to go to properties and I'm going to put the text name into the title field and for tag also name, and then I'm gonna click okay. So now we have that set up. And next thing we're going to do is save this. So I'm gonna save as, and you wanna save this in your OneDrive. So I'm gonna click browse, give your certificate a name. We're gonna call this cat sitter template. And then save it somewhere and of course keep note of where you're saving it. I'm gonna save it here, just on my desktop for this example. And now we can go ahead and close this. Now we can add a new step to our flow. And the next step is going to be a word connector. So we go to Word Online Business. And then we select populate a Microsoft Word template. This is a premium connector. So you have to have premium to do this. And the location, we search OneDrive for business. And then our document library is going to be OneDrive. And then we search for our file. So this is where, keep note of where you saved that file. So this is on my desktop. And here is cat sitter template. So I select that. And once I select that, it's going to add this field for name that we added to the certificate. And so this is where you're going to grab the output from your compose name action. So we grab that. So it's going to extract 
where it extracts the name from the email. It's going to populate it into the Word template. So now we're done with that step. Great, let's add our next step. So our next step is going to be creating the certificate file so that we have something to attach to our email action. So for that, we can search create file, and this is going to be a OneDrive or business action. So we select that. And so I'm gonna save this file on my desktop. So I'm just gonna select the desktop folder and you can save it wherever you'd like. And the name of the certificate, we're gonna say cert and underscore, and then I'm going to have it always be a dynamic file name. So we don't have any issues with that. So the dynamic file name is going to be the person's name. And then make sure that you give the file name doc, docx. And then for file content, that's going to be um, the dynamic content of the populated Microsoft Word template. So we'll grab that. Great. Now, before we can send the email, we need to convert this file because we want to make sure that we're sending a non-editable file to them. So we're gonna convert the file to um, a PDF. So from a Word document to a PDF. So let's search OneDrive and OneDrive for business and convert file. And here we have convert file preview. That should be the right one. And then the file is the dynamic content, this ID from the create file previous step. And then target type is PDF and you can change it to different things, but we're gonna do PDF. All right, now it's time to add in our last step. So we want send an email. This is going to be an Outlook action, send an email V2. And now in the two, we're gonna use dynamic content and that is going to be the output of the email, compose email action. So we grab that. So it will always send to that specific learner and our subject. We can just set, say um, your certificate is and then here we can spell it out using dynamic content. And we're gonna send it to dear and the person's name. Your certificate is attached. Thank you. And then we go to advanced options. You can set it to send from whoever. I'm gonna send it to myself. If you don't set anything, it will send from you anyways. And then we need to attach. So we attach our file. So for attachments name, we select from the dynamic content of the convert file action as file name and file content or attachments content. Now we should have everything that we need. So we're gonna give this a run and see what happens. So let's go ahead and save. And we need to trigger our flow using the details that we included in our trigger. So the subject is test cert. So if I go here, and do a new email and to test. I'm just going to send this to myself. And the subject is test cert. And of course, in the body, I'm, I need some data. So I'm going to do my name and my email address. And we're going to hit send. Now we can go back to our flow and see it run. Now, just so that you know, you can see I'm sending this I'm having this arrive into a folder. So I have an Outlook rule that moves that new email into that folder, which causes the Power Automate flow to run. So let's go back here and we can see it's running. We're gonna refresh 10 seconds, it succeeded. So let's go over to our email. So I'm gonna open that email up right here and we can see the email that populated my name right here. And it also added our certificate. So if we open that up, we can take a look. And here's our certificate. And it populated my name right there. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found something useful in this video. And as always, we will see you in that next one. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.